this is Roger Hansen again. I am here for my review of Build or Creative Homeowners Build Your Own Shed and Outdoor Project. It's step by step with step by step instructions or step by step instruction manual inside. It has over 200 plans also inside. Now on this book it does have the step-by-step -step instructions on how to build an outdoor project like sheds and uh, decks it also has just sheds and you know framework for for uh, just anything basically sheds decks freaking if you want to make a gazebo things like that and they do have the 200 plans inside <clears throat> in the unboxing I mentioned how I didn't like the delivery time it seemed to take longer than I thought it should but they said it would take 4 to 14 days and it took like 12 maybe 13 days so I mean that could be just me but I, I figured for a book it wouldn't have taken that long you know um, I uh, started reading it and I did like the builds on it but I went and I did price checks on a lot of the things that they were mentioning in there and for me my first impression of it was yeah this is pretty cool stuff but then I started price checking it and then watching videos of people and they're doing their projects and this book really pushes the advertisement uh, issue um, they were they're suggesting in this book that you get unnecessary um, things that are unnecessary and high priced to build just things like you know a deck um, I, I thought that that was pretty pretty bad you know um, they were suggesting you get certain manufacturers too that were freaking way way high price compared to just going out and checking it out on the internet so if you do get this book and you do use what they say double check you know do your research because they're wanting you to use excessively a lot of things um, I uh, and when when I talk about that I'm talking about like skirts I'm talking about joist hangers um, things of that nature but uh, I found that out and then when I looked in the back of the book with this 200 plans inside I found out that yeah they have the plans inside and they have the plan numbers right here but see if, if you get one set it's forty dollars for the PDF it's eighty dollars okay no for one set it's forty dollars and then for the PDF it's eighty dollars and if you get the five set it's seventy dollars and then the repro is ninety dollars and that's for a gazebo you know they're uh, giving you these 200 plans inside with the schematics down here but it, if you want to you know get the plans the actual plans written out then you have to pay money for them but like I said they do give you step-by-step -step instructions you now right here it's uh, raising the walls you know leveling corner details they have uh, door and window framing, diagonal bracing, you know, choosing lumber for your shed. They do have good information in the front of the book, but like I said, you need to be real careful about what you get for these because they're really pushing, you know, um, parts that you need for building it. And when it comes to the actual plans, they want you to pay for each of the 200 plans if any plans that you like you have to pay for it so I didn't like that that 
<clears throat> to me that seems deceptive from what I've seen when I've seen the advertisement. It didn't say that you had to pay for the plans. It said it had over 200 plans inside. And uh, to me that's just kind of deceptive advertising. I don't know if, uh, you know, Barnes and Nobles had anything to do with it or if it was just creative homeowners that did that, but I think that's an issue that should be taken up. It's false advertising if you ask me. But that is my review of creative homeowners. Build your own shed and outdoor projects step-by-step -step instruction manual with over 200 plans inside. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.